Fifth grade, chapter 11, lesson 10, apply volume formulas. Connect both prisms so the same dimensions and have the same volume. So basically they have um, the one that has unit cubes shown in it, and then the next picture has the same box, only it doesn't show all the different little unit cubes within it. Unlock the problem. Mike is making a box to hold his favorite DVDs. The length of the box is 7 inches, the width is 5 inches, and the height is 3 inches. What is the volume of the box Mike is making? So they want you to underline what you're asked to find. So what are we asked to find? What is the volume of the box Mike is making? Circle the numbers you will need to use to solve the problem. So what will we need to use? 7, 5, and 3. 7, seven 5, and 3. And then we will need the inches part, right? So you can use a formula to find the volume of a rectangular prism. So like we've discussed before, we say volume equals length times width times height or B equals L times W times H, so the letters of that, right? Identify the length, width, and height of the rectangular prism. So the length is? Seven inches. Seven inches. The width is? Five inches. Five inches, and the height is? Three inches. So then multiply the length by the width. So seven times five equals? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Multiply the product of the length and the width by the height, so thirty-five times? 3. 3 equals 5 one. times 3 is 15. Put a 5. Eventually carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9. Plus 1 is 10. So the volume of my CDD box is 105 inches or inches cubed. You have learned one formula for finding the volume of a rectangular prism. You can also use another formula. So they also say the volume equals the base area times height, or B equals capital B times H. So basically they have just combined the base or the bottom part times all the layers, right? So another way, use the area of the base shape and height. Emilio's family has a sandcastle kit. The kit includes molds for several solid figures that can be used to make sandcastles. One of the molds is a rectangular prism like the one shown at the right. How much sand will it take to find the mold? So basically they said the volume equals the base area. So that's the length times the width, right? So what's the length? Five. Five. What's the width? Four. Four. And the height is? Eight. So five times four is? Four. Twenty. So twenty times? Eight. Twenty times eight is? One hundred sixty. So it will take? 160 cubic inches of sand to fill the rectangular prism mold. Find the volume. So they want us to do volume equals length times width times height. So volume equals 7, seven times four, 4 times 5. Now, do you always have to group the first two together? No. So yes, if you're doing the base, then you would have to do that. But in this case, could we group a couple of things together that would make it easier to multiply later? Yes, so we could do 7 times, what guys? 4. four. Five. Guys, what is 4 times 5? We only have 2 spaces now, we don't have 3. 7 times 20. So, 7 times 20 is? 140. 140 cubic feet. Find the unknown measurement. So, they gave us the total volume, now we need to figure out what the height is. So they said volume equals length times width times height, and then they filled in the volume with 60. What's our length? Five. 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 What's our width? Four. Four. And we don't know what H is still, right? So what is five times four? One. Twenty. Twenty. And then we still don't know what H is. But now we have 60 equals 20 times H. So how do I get that H by itself? Divide. You do an inverse operation, right? So we have multiplication, so we're going to divide. divide. So 60 divided by 20 is? 3. three. So the unknown measurement is? 3 centimeters. Three centimeters. Sharon, show, find the volume. So we're going to write our formula. Volume equals length times, times width times height. height. Volume, volume equals 2 times 4 times 5. And then volume equals, equals 8 times 5 equals 40. 40. What's my label? Q. 
cubic feet, cubic feet or feet cubed. But you have to make sure you put the proper label or it would be incorrect. All right, number two, what's my formula? Volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals four times four times nine. Volume equals 16 times 9 equals 144 cubic centimeters. Okay. Make sure you circle your answers. All right. So you guys will do on your own 336 three, with your partner. Algebra, find the unknown measurement. So we need to do our formula, right? Volume equals length times width times height. Volume equals, oh, do I put volume equals? Nope, I'm replacing my V with what? 420. So 420 equals 7 times 6 times H. 420 equals 42 times H. And then we want to do the inverse operation, right? What is the inverse operation? Division. Division. Divide by 42. So what I do on one side, I do on the other side, and I'm left with 10 feet. Okay, number 8. What's my formula? Volume equals length times width times height. What's my volume? 900 equals 6 times 15 times 8. 900 equals, what is 6 times 15? 90. 90 times H. So now I need to do my inverse operation. So I'm going to divide, divide by 90. What I do on one side, I do on the other. And I'm left with 10 centimeters. Problem solving. The Jade Restaurant has a large aquarium on display in its lobby. The base of the aquarium is 5 feet by 2 feet. The height of the aquarium is 4 feet. How many cubic feet of water are needed to completely fill the aquarium? So what do I need to circle for my things? 5 feet, 2 feet, 4 feet, four feet. and then how many cubic feet of water are needed to completely fill the aquarium? So what's my formula? So volume equals times 4. Volume equals 10 times 4. So what's my answer? 40 feet cubed or 40 cubic feet. Okay. The Pearl Restaurant put a larger aquarium in its lobby. The base of their aquarium is 6 feet by 3 feet and the height is 4 feet. How many more cubic feet of water does the Pearl Restaurant's aquarium hold than the Jade Restaurant? So we need a circle of 4 feet, 6 feet, 4 feet. Did I say those right? You said 4 feet. Sorry, so 6, 3, and 4, right? And then how many more cubic feet of water does the Pearl Restaurant hold than the Jade Restaurant's aquarium? So what's my formula? Volume equals length times width. Volume equals 6 times 3, 3, 4. So volume equals 6 times 12. What is 6 times 12? 72. So this one would be 72. Is that what they want for our answer? 72 minus 40. 72 minus 40 because they want to know what the difference is. So what would that be? 32. 32 feet Square. Oh, not squared. Cube. You're right. Number 11. Eddie measured his aquarium using a small fish food box. The box has a base area of 6 inches and a height of 4 inches. Eddie found that the volume of his aquarium is 3,456 cubic inches. How many boxes of fish food could fit in the aquarium? Explain your answer. So over here we did volume equals base times height, volume equals 6 times 4, then we found out that the volume of the fish food box is 24. So we took 3,456 divided by 24 and came up with 144 boxes of fish food. Number 12. Describe the difference between area and volume. Area covers a flat surface and volume covers a solid figure. Number 13. Test prep. 
Adam stores his favorite CDs in a box like the one at the right. What is the volume of the box? So what's my formula, guys? Volume equals width times width times height. Volume equals 150 times 7. Volume equals 150 times 7. And then that equals 1050. So then we would pick letter C. C. 